So today I thought it was finally time that we switch back to some other maps because we spent right about three weeks straight over on Silver Ridge Peaks and I was starting to miss some of the things that we kind of hunt consistently and I came to multiplayer because mostly we really only hunted whitetail on my Leighton recently and I just wanted to potentially find other stuff. So go figure, there's a level 3 whitetail to start with, but yeah, um, there's a couple of things I want to get off uh, Leighton. Obviously one is a diamond black bear, we've been starting that on Silver Ridge for a while now. I still want like a big rack diamond blacktail because we have two diamond blacktail that are small racks and a diamond moose, which they're fairly broken right now. Um, a lot of moose that probably should make diamond aren't, but it is possible, so if we can get really lucky, we can maybe get that done, but yeah, go figure. I went to multiplayer to kind of avoid a map where I've just really only got setups for whitetail and there's a potential diamond right out of the gate. So he just barely made it. He's actually not even one full uh, point above the minimum, but he's really heavy. 98.8 kilos. I believe that's the second heaviest level three whitetail that I've seen in the last couple of months where, you know, I, I've seen probably eight or nine by now in the great one grind and everything, but clearly weight doesn't affect score the way it used to. You know what? Actually, this will be a good opportunity to use the kind of switch up I brought. So just since we were switching maps, I thought I'd bring the 338 today. Because we use the 300 all the time, and there's actually that other, like, premium variation of the 338, which you can unlock through parquet missions. I don't know why she's not standing up. But, yeah. I can't even remember the last time I fired the 338, so I thought it would be fun to just use something a little bit different for the big game. But, considering how extremely sad these whitetail are, I figured we'd just take a female bear over those. But actually, not bad. We got heart and double lung. And obviously right now Whitetail are drinking, so I thought we'd still hunt for them. I mean, I guess there's a chance we could always run into a great one in multiplayer. It seems like so much less likely than just grinding for it in single player where you're getting like consistent respawns. But it's possible, so I thought we'd kind of run through here and if we can ever find a Melanistic Diamond, I'd have the Albino and Piebald to put that with. Okay, this bear just turned back around. So we'll just... Go ahead and take her too, I guess. But yeah, I actually just looked. It's the end of Whitetail Drink Time now. It's like 15.03, so some of the late zones will still be active. But I'm thinking we might just kind of stick in the server till dark. So maybe we'll hunt Blacktail and Elk towards the end of the evening and just kind of see what's out and about in the later half of the day. Because I've been thinking about doing that on a lot of maps, like evening hunting, because... It's not something we do very often, but a lot of animals end up being active again towards the end of the day, so maybe we'll try that. I thought maybe while we wait for Blacktail and Elk to start drinking, we'd come down here and look for Mallards, because there's that one room in the back of the Trophy Lodge where I was trying to do, like, two diamonds of each duck species, and we have Harley Conducts and we have uh, Cinnamon Teal, but we don't have any Diamond Mallards there, so that's one of those level twos which it's really rare, but it is possible for them to make diamonds, so... I thought we'd get that, and maybe since we're here and have the 338 anyway, we'll just get a bonus black bear. So he's not bad. That's somewhere kind of in the middle of that estimate, but definitely not the diamond we're looking for, but worth it to stop and kill some time till Blacktail and Elk come out, I guess. I figured that must have been a little bit high on that black bear, but it's Whitetail feed time now, so I actually wouldn't be shocked if we see some Whitetail go into this lake. Because this is one of my other favorite duck lakes, and then we're still going to have a good bit of time. So we might just fast travel here and go up through Calburn, because Calburn is kind of the other area that's just loaded with mallards. And I would actually like to get some of those diamond ones on the wall so we can finish that sort of area. Because I think, other than another goose, which we have a goose on the wall at least, uh, those are the only two unfinished plaques in that entire room. So it would be nice to get that out of the way while we're waiting. That's actually kind of decent. I wonder if we can get a shot at that, because I really don't want to track a mythical coyote for forever. Getting lungs is going to be so difficult at that angle. We got something good. Liver or enough to bring him down really quick, so maybe we'll get the full score. I mean, I'm not going to keep him for the trophy lodge or anything. We have, I think, just the diamond and the piebald mounted, but still nice to get it, and that's definitely vital blood. And we have a max weight elk track, so whatever we happen to do here as far as the timing seems to be pretty decent so far. But yeah, 
The concept of a coyote leaving that much blood is insane, but right into the left lung there. And he's still a good kilo and a half below diamond, so not super close. But sort of led us right to this track, so if nothing else, he'd let us know there's potentially something to look for down here. I don't know if that's him. It looks like it is, so definitely a lower end max weight, but since he's coming up out of there... That should be a lung? Looks like it. And there are some other ones, so make sure we weren't missing out, but I believe that's the biggest one. And of course he's barely into that max weight range uh, at 446, but decent that we got him without any issues tracking, and we can probably just focus on any ducks that are down on this lake now. So that's actually another one of those really big twos, which in theory can make diamond. And he's kind of out of way from all the other ducks. So I think we can get him without actually spooking the rest, and we can still kind of spot around and see if there's any bigger ones. And as far as I can tell, that's the only other interesting one. It's another potentially diamond two, so we'll take that out as well if we can. Probably have to aim, like, just a little bit high. But this one already floated over, and I think floated well past us because we would have been over here when we shot it, so... Maybe at least if we're shooting a bunch of the high estimate ones, we're increasing our odds at potentially having one of them be a diamond, but he's even lower than the last one. And hopefully this one ain't going to take too long to get over here. Oh, we're so close with the second one. 0.2 away. So, I mean, yeah, it's worth shooting these because they can make it. But uh, Blacktail and Oak start drinking in an hour in game, so maybe just to shorten it. We'll go to this outpost, because as far as I can tell, like, most of the areas where there's a ton of ducks start up in this northern area of Calvern, so we'll just go from there to see if we can maybe clutch a diamond duck before uh, their drink time starts. Huh. Guess there's just going to be whitetail feeding out here. I thought we'd find them down south more likely than in this spot, but... That's a max weight estimate, Buck, so we'll take that. Actually, again, barely into the max weight estimate, but a decent little gold. And I did see we're just starting to get into where some of the ducks are, so I think we should be good on time to check these spots out. That's at least one we should probably try to get, and unfortunately, flying away at the worst angle. But not too bad to get him as long as he's not too far away, but I do think there's more ducks like the further north we go. I want to say we could go further up there and find even more. Which, actually, I don't think I got to spot these ones just yet, but maybe we can do that real quick. And none of them look all that interesting either. Again, though. So close. We're literally 0.1 away, and the weight is there. So their weight is essentially their trophy rating, but we got a low trophy rating for the weight. And <laughs> we're 0.1 away. That would have been nice to actually get another... Uh, diamond that I'm trying to get in the trophy lodge checked off, but yeah, I mean, especially if it seems like this server has a good number of high scoring ducks, we might as well go up through here. I want to wait till about 1730 anyway, because then all the blacktail and elk should be in their zones, even if they're late zones. So we can check to see if there's anything else interesting up this way. This is kind of what happens though, like you get a lot of defensive and nervous ducks. Because I think they're fleeing from one place and then just going further up this river. So I don't see anything that's that big. It's 1728. I think we're going to go ahead and start looking for probably elk first. Just because it's an easy spot to check. And then we'll probably go to some spots that are elk and blacktail. And go figure. The only one that's not just stationary drinking is the biggest one. I'm not even sure if that's a gold. I forget where gold is for these. But I think we can get that. Should be good. It's actually kind of nice to use the 338 again. Like, it's still a really good gun. But that is a gold 296, and you need 272, so he's pretty well over it. And I want to actually go down to this lake just because this server seems to have a lot of pretty good sized animals. I think it's worth checking it. Ooh. It's still the small rack, but actually. We'll take that. I don't actually know if that's big enough, and there are so many animals at this lake. I didn't even get to spot everything yet. 
But I had the warning call up there, so I thought I'd look. You can go figure. Not quite what we're after, but pretty decent for a blacktail. I don't know that I've ever... There's actually another one of those big two ducks, so maybe we'll try to get it. I don't know that I've ever killed a diamond a duck at this lake. Maybe I have. I've killed one at the lake next to this. But that's a tough angle to get, so... Probably that's the diamond level two that we're uh, after and we're not going to get it, but... Maybe the black tail will make up for that. But that's a diamond, 178.5, so literally one above. Getting a couple of diamonds off this server that are just barely there, but... It's crazy that's one above. This is... Like, a big diamond black tail that weight in the past. It's just interesting, like, how much less weight actually means to the overall score with true racks, but... We'll definitely take that. I don't think I have, like, that exact small rack shape. I feel like I have kind of different looking ones. We'll have to see, but... I'm running out of plaques that size in the trophy lodge, like, from the Great One grind and then Red Deer and stuff. We'll have to figure where to put that, but I'd like to keep it. I only have two black tail in there. That's another decent blacktail, actually. Max weight us him at four, so maybe we'll just get him. And then, since we're shooting from so far away, potentially there's still other stuff around the lake that won't have heard that. Alright, so maybe waiting till nighttime is not an issue. But, unfortunately, that was actually too high a shot, so... Lost the gold on our blacktail. It's now 8 a.m., so we're... Basically back into blacktail and elk drink time again. So maybe we'll end up switching servers then, just because things are going to be running around a little bit here. Maybe we should stay just to see, like, animals potentially moving from their zone since the time just got changed. A lot of times that can be interesting. You catch stuff moving through the open that you wouldn't otherwise see. So we'll stay here a minute and then probably switch. So we're actually in another server, which is blacktail and elk drink time, but it's the morning this time. So, at least we don't have to worry about it getting dark. And we'll just go ahead and take that guy out right there. So I figure we'll try to hunt, like, some of the different lakes. So at least we're not at the same place as we just were, but on a different server. And we'll see if that does any better. But I'm trying to go back to remembering, like, this is actually a decent-sized blacktail now. I mean, it's six over gold, which is not too bad, but it's difficult to go to this where before a lot of them were kind of the what is now a big rack five. So that's another decent four. I wonder if we can make a hard shot. There's actually a four back there too. So we want to do it from here for sure. I kind of want to go seven mil. Hard shot's difficult on these regardless, but I definitely like the gun that's a little more accurate. I don't know why he just went alert all of a sudden. There's nobody else around me. Maybe it was just the fact that it was kind of close-ish to him. I have no idea why that alerted him, but that actually worked, and we may just go 7 mil again. Though they're alert, and they're kind of far away. Like, I don't know why that would be. He's back to attentive. And maybe... Not two for two, but I'm pretty sure at worst that's going to be single lung. Although he's kind of just limping off. Maybe somehow we got too low? That was definitely too far back. Actually, looking at that, it could have been really easy to get just flesh. Like, easily we could have ended up not getting enough penetration. Especially straight on, where we didn't have, like, a side angle to get the lung a bit. That actually makes a lot of sense, and it is a flesh wound, so... I don't actually think that's going to bring him down, so we might just kind of move on. This actually could be interesting. We have a max weight black bear track here, and I just spooked him, but I haven't seen him yet. And that is one of the things I've been after for the new Trophy Lodge, so maybe we could actually get that done too. I can't believe he's actually a level 9, and of course he's a common. Like, I really wanted a color phase diamond black bear, but I don't have any diamond in the new Trophy Lodge, so if this guy makes it, we'll take that. And I think I want to use the 7 mil, just because, like, I want to use the gun that I completely trust. And even though the 338 did good... I think I'm going to use the 7 mil, so he should stop and kind of go alert and probably stand up. That's usually what black bears do, so I expect him to do that. I sort of chased him for a long time, and he's up in this spot, which 
I'll hopefully show on the map here in a second, but animals always kind of run around the edge of the water there, so I know we've got some time, but I don't know if he's actually going to stop. Like, they're, they're doing those little stops. All the bears do that, and it still says fleeing on his spotting thing, and that's what I'm watching. Like, when he actually goes nervous or whatever, that's when we're going to get ready for a shot, because I don't want him to start moving on us. But he's actually getting into the brush. I can't believe he's running that far. Okay, he actually just went to nervous. And I think that's going to be good. Yeah, he's dropping. So, I can't believe he ran that far. But this is the area. It's all the way up here. And you see, like, where we initially started tracking him. But up here where we are, they tend to kind of just run along the edge of the water for a long distance. And I figured we'd get a shot there, but I was actually starting to wonder. And of course, it was a vital shot. There was vital blood back there, so we should be fine. And he actually landed almost really good for a screenshot. But he is a diamond, and he's a big one. 23.8. That would be 0.2 below the max for these guys. And he's 287 kilos. Like, that, to be honest, very easily could have been a max score. Like, that close to the max weight, easily he could have been. But still, that's by far my biggest diamond black bear ever and like I said of course he's a common but we'll take that that's cool so go figure my first day back on Layton and we get ourselves a huge diamond black bear 23.8 and I had spent like a lot of hours on Silver Ridge Peaks trying to get a diamond one like grinding for it in single player and stuff so of course there's one sitting on Layton and naturally he's a common um I do want a color phase one but I'm kind of hoping maybe eventually they do a Black Bear multi-mount. And as far as I'm concerned, they could do a bunch of different things. They could do like a Black Bear feeding on a carcass or whatever, but they could literally copy this multi-mount for the Grizzlies and just do it for Black Bear. And I would have that. And if they did it for Brown Bear, I'd do all three. Like, I really like this. And then we could have, potentially, if we ever get one, a Common Diamond and a Color Phase Diamond. So I think that's something I'd like. But then we have our Diamond Blacktail here, which, again, not the Big Rack one that we're after. But I think I mentioned it, there's like two other diamond ones in the entire lodge, whereas I think today we got our eighth diamond whitetail that's in the lodge, so I'm happy to display those. And this is our new whitetail. As I mentioned, he's like the smallest one we've gotten in the last couple of months, and I don't know that it'll stay like I just said. We have a bunch of diamond whitetail in the lodge, but for now I actually like that. I had a Bathini's Ibex there and it kind of looked out of balance with the huge horns they have, but yeah, that was a good return trip to late and we got... A couple of diamond deer, and one of the diamonds that I've actually been after for this new lodge. So, the only bear species we need now is a diamond brown bear, and maybe we'll get back to Leighton somewhat soon and actually work on that, but that was crazy to see. We got that max weight track, and it actually turned out to be a 9, and it actually turned out to not be a troll, because we did kill a troll one on stream a couple of months ago on the new system, but first diamond black bear on the new system, and it's easily my biggest one ever, so pretty cool to actually get that on our return trip to Leighton. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.